Rhodes, the Emerald Island, famous because of its special history, which is mentioned and sung of old and modern poets, historians and authors. Beautiful and shining like the god of the sun, Rhodes was already a holiday place before Christ was born. The Colossus of Rhodes was passed off as one of the seven wonders of the world. The production of the 32 high statue, which was made by the sculpture Harris, took from 292 BC until 280 BC. It was placed as a welcome to the ships in one of the many small harbours of Rhodes. Today, instead of the Colossus, there are now two statues of deer standing on each side of the Mandraki Harbour as a symbol of Rhodes. The lighthouse of St Nicholas and the three windmills are close by the yacht harbour. Here the visitors anchor their yachts and view the city of Rhodes. One of the many entrances of the old town leads us to the famous street of the Knights. It is no wider than six metres and has many well restored medieval buildings on both sides where the Knights used to live at that time. At the end of the street you can see the Grand Master's Palace, the biggest building dominating the whole medieval town. The Palace of the Grand Master is a roughly square building, dimensions 80 by 70 meters, designed around a large courtyard. The main entrance is in the south façade, flanked by two imposing towers. The west façade is pierced by a gate, in front of which rises a tall, square tower, probably the work of the Grand Master Pierre de Boussin, 1476-1503. About 5 kilometres from Calathea and 11 kilometres from Rhodestown is the very popular and busy tourist area of Falaraki, with its beautiful long sandy beach and many cafeterias and pubs. Here there is a wide variety of entertainment for all ages and tastes. In the southeast corner of the island, about 55 kilometers from Rhodes Town, is the enchanting village of Lindos. Even before you arrive here, you have a beautiful view of Lindos and the Acropolis, which towers proudly above the village. The Temple of Athena Camerados from the 6th century BC is worth admiring as are the ancient water and canal systems. Camaros is an ancient city without any Byzantine buildings or churches. With a little bit of imagination you can almost visualize how the city would have been at that time. Another nice area which is well worth visiting is the Butterfly Valley which of course took its name from the thousands of butterflies which flock there every year during the mating season from about mid-June until mid-September. Above the village of Trianda is the Hill of Philerimos. Here there is an archaeological site with many old buildings and ruins. Alongside is the famous monastery which was rebuilt by the Italian archaeologist Maori, the old monastery and the Church of the Virgin Mary. <laughs> 